I'm going to put both these videos up when I get back because I'm recording with both my drift and my GoPro. My drift is on the side of my helmet and I've got the GoPro on a chest harness. But what I've done is I've, I've doctored the GoPro a little bit. And let me explain what I mean about that. Check that guy there in the Ford. Let me explain what I mean about that. As most people are aware with the drifts, they come with their own microphone. It's just plug and play vlogging you're off for some reason with everything GoPro everything is an optional and expensive extra so I was looking into different microphones etc to be using not just on my GoPro but also my drift and also I've been looking at microphones to use with my DSLR camera and on my GoPro at the minute right let me get around these cars because it's not going to make for a very interesting vlog visually if I'm rabbiting on here stuck behind these two especially in this guy in the white van is going to decide to just pull out for no reason and block where I'm trying to get around him I'll soon sort that There's nothing on the inside of him there. There was no reason for him to drift out other than the fact he's trying to block me from getting round. But we'll just do this. Right. So. Into my GoPro, I have wired a Audio Technica ATR 3350 condenser mic. Now, I've got it idling here at these traffic lights. You might be able to hear a bit of the engine noise. Not much of it. Um, I've had to doctor my GoPro case to accommodate a microphone. As anyone will know, the standard GoPro housing will not accommodate any kind of external microphone being plugged into it because where the microphone input socket is at the side of the GoPro this the side of the cases so what I've done I've taken a multi-tool Dremel and drilled a hole big enough to accept the jack socket end of the Audio Technica that I've got plugged into it at the minute both microphones are situated in the same place inside my helmet just a quick rundown on the settings I've got there as far as I am aware I'm running a GoPro Hero 2 there's no way of altering the microphone sensitivity level on the GoPro however on the drift there is the setting that I've got the drift on at the minute and bear in mind I'm using the standard drift microphone that ships with it I'm using a one of the older go uh, one of the older drifts i'm using the 1080p hd so a, few, a couple of three years old but it's still good for what it does i think it's possibly the same setup spec short of a few little things that they've added to it of the new drift i forget what they call it now the little the mini drift for 200 quid it may be the same spec as that I think that the new drift has got little things on it like Wi-Fi etc but as far as I'm aware there's no way of adjusting the sensitivity level of the GoPro for the microphone input so I'm using the just the standard settings that the GoPro has and I've got the Audio Technica just using the, the fact that it's powered so I'm hoping it isn't going to be too loud and distorted both of the microphones are placed in the same part of my helmet and that's just directly in front of my mouth the drift one is slightly off to one side tucked into where the cheek is so look at this squashed <laughs> me 
What the f <laughs> I wasn't worried. See, on a bigger bike, on my jigs, I'd have been in and out of that. I could have probably floored it through that as well, but I'm running my V-rubbers on this bike at the minute and they're not particularly fantastic. If you can hear some beeping and stuff going on in the background, that's the speakers from my Scala Rider that I did have wired up to my phone, pumping out the new Foo Fighters album, Sonic Highways. If you're into Foo Fighters and you've not checked that album out yet, go and buy it. It's, it's As with all things Foo Fighters, it's awesome. There's only eight tracks on it, but... If you're looking to why that is, that'll become apparent. This isn't a vlog about the Foo Fighters. So, back to the microphone issues. Um, so yeah, we're running both GoPro and Drift. They're recording the same thing, obviously, from different angles. The GoPro's the one that's going to be recording uh, the... the larger part of the Grom, whereas the... Drift stuck on the side of my helmet. My phone's pinging away in the background now. I'm getting messages and all sorts on WhatsApp and emails. Uh, the Drift is the one that's on the side of my helmet that is obviously recording the majority of what you see on the road. Um, I think from a Grom point of view, the chest harness is particularly good, in my opinion, because it not only captures the road, but you also get a pretty decent view of the Grom. And anybody watching this video for the Grom will see that. I need to at some point do my review of this bike but for now I'm just kind of vlogging on it as I go. I'm still loving this bike, I've not, I don't think I've ever stopped smiling since I've bought this bike and I've had it for I think a couple of months now. Um, this is probably a pretty good time to mention about a new group that a few of us have set up. At the minute we're kind of on Twitter and we've got our own WhatsApp group running. I'll get through these lights and I'll tell you more about it. 